Why was Y Combinator so important for you? I mean, you'd been rejected once, you invested a lot of time, you put a lot of faith in the thing that you had to do in order to get in there. You know, I mean, Silicon Valley is not particularly a hard place to find other mentors. I mean, you had encouragement on the ideas. Why did you feel like you needed it? So, it, for so many of the people that I knew, this was like the fast lane. Or it wasn't uh -huh. even the fast lane, this was like the on-ramp. Mm -hmm. um, and you gotta realize that people, like most of the world does not live in Silicon Valley and did not grow up there, does not like immersed in all of this. So it's, you're, you're kind of on the outside. And so, we didn't really have any connections or know anyone other than um, the people that had already gone through Y Combinator. So we had a whole network of people who were in it, but not, not people sort of around them. Mm -hmm. um, and I had just seen, so I, I had bootstrapped my first startup for like three years. Um, it, but we worked on it part time. And I saw in like three months how much faster and how much more momentum, or how much faster progress was, how much more momentum they got uh, by, by literally camping out in Adam's living room while they were in Cambridge doing Y Combinator. And I'm like, oh my God, we got to do this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it was, particularly at the time, it was like the ideal way for someone who's not from the Valley uh, to get plugged in. Mm -hmm. and, and, how, and how it works is really straightforward. They have this sequence of dinners every week and they get you know, inv investors and past entrepreneurs and all these people that you, sort of the whole cast of ca characters you encounter in the ecosystem, they sort of have a, an off the record like two hour talk, three hour talk right. from these people. And so it's, it's a really f effective way of getting context for like what you need to know. Mm -hmm. What was uh, the single most important thing that you learned from Y Combinator? I know last month um, Brian Chesky said the most important thing was, uh, was Paul Graham telling him you've got to get physically close to your customers and like they flew to New York and took it really literally and like hung out in like early Airbnb houses yeah. and like figured out that people weren't actually sleeping on air mattresses anymore and like I mean was there anything like that that was like just this one standalone sort of aha or helpful thing? No, it, it was more that it was just kind of this like, you know, treasure map of like, here's all the stuff you have no, or you just have no context. And like, sure, listening to a two hour talk from like a patent lawyer doesn't make you like a patent lawyer, but you can at least know like, okay, there's this stuff around patents that's like kind of important and like here's the kind of things I'm gonna need to know. And like, you know, hearing these stories from these entrepreneurs who have been through this, you sort of get, a little bit clearer idea of what the whole process is like. Mm -hmm. And so the sort of demystifying of this, of the whole process, was really the most valuable thing. Then there were other things that were just like the emotional support or just sort of the esprit de corps from having 20 other companies going through the exact same thing and every week everybody shows up and, um, and it's just building, building, building and you're all rooting each other on. Um, so it, it, it wasn't any one thing um, and I, probably the most sort of striking thing was Paul's ability to distill down these very kind of techy or obscure or arcane concepts into things that like a normal person can understand. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was just uncanny how he could do that. Mm -hmm.